Hi, so I'm Emily. And I'm John. And our last fan tour video we filmed with a kitten. This fan tour we're now filming with our baby, Charlie. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? another van and um, everything that we kind of decided that we could do better from our last van we have put into this van so for example we're going to show you in a minute but we've got a fixed double bed we've got loads more storage we've got extra power we've got more electronics you name it it's all in this van so this is our latest van conversion it's a mercedes sprint along wheelbase 2020 <laughs> version uh, i'm going to first of all show you this part of the van so this is the sofa area so as you can see, we've got lots of storage underneath. Um, so there's four drawers, large drawers underneath. And this pulls out into a nice sofa bed as well. So to make it into the sofa, all we do is put that cushion on there and it's ready for two people to sleep on. So this is our entertainment area in the lounge. Uh, we've got 24 inch smart TV, so we can watch Netflix when we're on the go or digital TV. Um, DAB radio, double sockets with USB, 12 volt USB, Truma, this is our Truma con uh, combi boiler control, so this is for hot water and heating, works off gas and electric, it's fantastic, and we've also got the Victron um, controller as well, so if we want to use power when we are off grid. So in here we have space for laptops, phones, uh, separate charging area, iPads, anything like that we need to charge on the go. Um, so it's a huge storage area. Same down here, nice long drawer and then storage underneath the sofa area and all the cupboards lock off when you're in transit they're not going to fly open. So we wanted to make the most of every bit of space in the van obviously the more storage you've got the better so we made this into a bookshelf up at the top here which is great for anything that you might need. We've obviously got the TV which I know John's talked about and then we've also got here a digital radio which we love. Now we don't want anything flying around when we're driving so if I just take it off here you can see that we've got magnets and it just literally clips on at the bottom and it means that when we're going um, it's not going to fly off and smash so every part of the van um, obviously we wanted loads of windows because obviously getting as much natural light in as possible is great however on a night you also want to make sure if we have got complete darkness every window has therefore got these blackout blinds that just simply roll down nice and quick and it just keeps all the sunlight out which is great on a night time so we wanted to have some sort of access into the garage so we've got this cupboard here which opens straight into the garage that works really well for us just in terms of storage but also if you've got pets um, I know people who've had dogs and things this works brilliantly for them as well so this kitchen is based on our last conversion and um, we put everything that we thought worked really well and we changed a few little bits as well so we've got the mini Belfast sink which is our absolute fave running cold water and hot water which is brilliant we've also got loads of storage our last kitchen didn't have as much storage as this so we wanted to make sure we had more drawers more areas to put food and things and we've even got um, a little spice rack here at the end which is really helpful we decided that we wanted to have the fridge in this bit as well but we wanted to make sure it didn't just look like a fridge <laughs> yes charlie so we put one of the cupboard doors on just to make it all blend in and then we've got the fridge here which we've always found has got plenty of room for everything we need to go off grid so we have got the two ring gas hob and um, this has everything we need uh, we can cook all the meals we need to we've been off grid for months and months at a time with this we can have an oven installed we decided against it this does us fine and um, we have got the blackout line just here which rolls down which is brilliant obviously on the night and things like that and it just rolls back up over here we've got the 240 volt system and we've also got some usb ports as well which is obviously great when you're in bed and then you can plug anything you want in for the kitchen probably the most important part of the kitchen because obviously workspace is a little bit limited is the cafeteria. so this gives you your extra storage or your extra worktop area so when you want to store your meal prep and everything this bit comes in really really helpful so in here we've got our custom shower room it's all built at the workshop take a look inside so we've got full thermostatic shower with obviously hot and cold water. You've got flushing for the toilet 
Um, we've also got the racks at the top which work brilliantly for drying clothes and things like that. And obviously it's completely waterproof so you can shower and do everything you need to do in your bathroom and it's not gonna leak anywhere. So if you saw our last van tour video, one of the main issues we had with the van was the fact there was no fixed double bed. We had to get the bed out every night and to be honest, it was a bit of a faff. So we were desperate to make sure that we had a fixed bed this time. So here we've got the double bed at the back. We've got a um, really, really comfortable foam, uh, which does, I, mean, I have to say, just traveling around in it, everything else, it's so much better not having to pull it out every night and make it up. We've also got the storage up at the top there. Um, again, we didn't have enough storage in our last van. We had a lot of space in the garage, but we had to go outside um, every morning to get all of our stuff. So this time we've got loads more cupboard space, which is brilliant, obviously for all of our clothes and things like that. So obviously we're quite tall. Um, one of the things we were conscious about when we were doing the fixed bed was making sure that we actually had enough room. So we put these recessed panels in, um, which give us extra leg room and head room, which does make sure that it's nice and comfy. And we've also got these blinds that come up um, and we've got the little windows there so we can kind of look out on the morning and also get some fresh air and things in which is great we've got the lights here and um, which are perfect for on an evening and obviously they can move around and then we've got the light switch here turning everything on and off. so this is our instrument panel that's hidden nicely away so this shows us how much water we've got left how much gas we've got left on our refillable tanks and if we want to switch our fridge on and off instead of doing it inside so this is our overhead storage we did have this in the previous van but this is an updated version so we have USB uh, connectivity up there. Uh, we have a 230 socket up there as well. So we can charge our things. Uh, it's fully insulated, so it keeps things nice and cool as well. So if there's food in there, uh, it'll keep it nice and cool. So this bed is so, so comfy. We've used six inch of foam and yeah, it's just amazing. As you can see here, I know we've talked about them already, but we've got the recesses um, and the other window just on that side. And these are the overhead storage. So as you can see, we can just open these up. We can fill it with all of our clothes um, and I don't have to send John into the garage every morning to pick out the clothes and get everything that we might need for the day. So this is the cab area, as you can see. Uh, we've got two single seats. This one, however, does recline right back. So if you're doing long journeys or traveling across Europe, it's perfect because all you need to do is push that down and then pull this lever. We've got a built-in pillow there as well. So you can be nice and comfy and sleep while the other person's driving you across country. So as you can see, in this van, we've got a bigger opening than the previous one. So if you want to get through to the front, you just clip that down and it's as easy as that. Underneath, the sofa area we have the electrical yeah. system so this van has a full Victron electrical system in it so very reliable when you're on the road uh, 1200 multi plus inverter which is enough power for Emily to have her hair straighteners on and hair dryer and we also have a Orion TriSmart battery to battery charger so that charges our leisure batteries when, when we're on the road and the MPPT which is the solar controller that does our 600 watts on the roof, so that manages that and gets the most out of that. Um, so yeah, full system. So this is the garage storage area. As you can see, it's nice and large. So we've got hot and cold shower on the left hand side. We've got 12 volt power for inflating your paddle boards and things like that. Uh, we've got hot air duct from the Truma boiler. So they're all around the van. That provides a warm air curtain in the back so there's no drafts. The cassette toilet. Yes, Charlie, this is a cassette toilet. Um, the water pump, which is just in the process of being boxed in. And a 230 volt socket there for charging e-bikes or anything in the back that you need. Uh, we're actually hiring this van out uh, because we now need to make a new van for a family of three. So John is currently in the design process uh, trying to <laughs> try to design as a new family van. So we've built this one, but we're now going to hire it out. So after all the positive feedback from the last van tour we did, um, people were asking if we could build them vans and if we could send them plans. So we didn't really think about it at the time, but now we've actually set up our own van company. So it's a family run company with myself and Emily's brother. Yeah, we're booked up right through until the end of the year and we're just constantly building vans now, some of them to hire, some of them to sell. Um, we're obviously about to build a new van just for the three of us, which is really exciting. <laughs> Hi 
I hope you enjoyed that video. If you hadn't noticed, we do sell an ebook for how to convert a van. It has over 190 pages of detailed instructions and diagrams, also 25 video tutorials which are specifically for the ebook buyer. Creating a van for many people is obviously a really intimidating project, but I really believe, and I've seen it time and time and time again, that with the right information, anyone can turn out with a pretty decent van conversion. So check the link in the description, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, uh, and drop us a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.